internet welcome back to another vlog on my channel i did some weight training this morning now i'm sipping my protein smoothie outside of juice generation um i'm up on west 29th right now so it is the most beautiful day you can't really tell from where i'm sitting because i'm kind of sitting in the shade but it's so beautiful out the perfect temperature blue sky not a cloud in the sky we have sunshine the birds are chirping everyone seems happier I feel like last week in the city everyone was kind of going through it because well this past week I made a daylight savings which I swear affects everybody I was actually just talking to Jane my trainer about how last week there were moments last week where I was like should I leave the city should I move away I can't be here in this tiny box of an apartment everyone's in a bad mood and I just was going through it last week but this week is a beautiful new day and Jack just actually texted me he goes I think today's a 10 out of 10 day which he's referring to there's this weather account that I follow on Instagram that rates each day of weather in New York City out of 10 and I've never seen a perfect 10 they've never rated the day a perfect 10 you'll get like a 9 sometimes so I'm gonna have to check and see. It's called NYC Metro Weather, if you guys are curious. I'm not sure if they do it in other cities, but Jack and I just, we send each other the rating every day back and forth. Anyway, it's gonna be a beautiful day. I have a lot of indoor activities planned, which is really upsetting. I wish I had more stuff to do outside, but I'm already trying to get ahead on projects and things before I leave for London. I'm going to London, as you guys know. Yeah, two weeks from now, I'm heading to London to meet Jack's family for the first time, which I'm very excited about, and I'll definitely be vlogging a lot of that trip, so do not worry. I have a lot of things to do before I leave for that, because I'm trying to not have any work to do, like campaign work while I'm there. I want to get all of that done, so I'm trying to hustle the next couple of weeks and I also want to get ahead on my podcasts both of them so I don't have to worry about that so it's just a lot of like preliminary work so I can relax and just focus on London when I'm there that being said if you guys have any London recommendations send them my way um, any places I need to go I, we already have a bunch of reservations for like dinner and stuff but you know coffee shops I want some antique stores I want to go to some antique shops while I'm there so the smoothie I'm drinking is called a protein knockout and it really to me tastes like Reese's Puffs like the the cereal that we used to eat growing up that's what I get from this I'm gonna take my time walking home I'm gonna do a bit of therapy in a bit and then what else I have two projects I'm working on today and then I'm going to dinner and an event dinner and a show but not a show I'm going to the Whitney Museum tonight for a grand opening of an exhibit or like an activation I'm gonna get dressed up so it's gonna be a good vlog let's walk home So I'm back home now and before I start my work for the day, I'm going to squeeze in some therapy, BetterHelp Online Therapy. This video is sponsored by BetterHelp. You guys know I've talked about BetterHelp for years now. Like I think the first time I mentioned them had to have been like 2020. I could go on and on about BetterHelp and why I think it is so great. Personally speaking, I freeze up when I have to talk about my feelings in front of someone. So I love the messaging option that BetterHelp has. It's been a game changer for me. It's actually made me look forward to therapy. Before, when I was doing it face to face with someone, I freaked out nearly every time right before I was supposed to talk to them. And it just, it stressed me out more than it helped me. So I find that the messaging only, the chat only approach is perfect for me and my therapist, but they do have the other options as well. You can do video calls. You know, they have a bunch of different options for you on their site, depending on what you want, which is why I love it so much. As you guys know, I just started a new podcast and I've been trying some new stuff on social media. And I mean, I've talked about this before, but I think I'll always live with this sense of imposter syndrome. I really have struggled with it my entire life. I just don't ever feel like, for some reason, and I'm not, this is not a pity party, I'm just being honest with you guys. I always feel like every project I do, every job I take on, I don't feel like I'm good enough. Like, I, that's kind of the, def the definition of imposter syndrome, but I always kind of have this issue that just lingers. It really affects my creativity, which is my 
favorite thing about me. So speaking with my therapist is crucial in moments like these so I don't get down on myself and start to rain on a beautiful parade <laughs> that I've created with my podcast. BetterHelp is great. I will have it linked down below to where you guys can sign up. It's a quick quiz that you take in the beginning. It takes like five minutes. You take the quiz, then you're matched with a therapist. If you don't love your therapist, you can switch anytime. And like I said, there's so many different ways that you can chat with your therapist. Whatever works for you, that's what their aim is, to make therapy accessible to really any person. And if you use my link that I'll have on the screen right here, you can get 10% off your first month of Better Help Online Therapy. So definitely give it a shot and let me know how it goes for you. I just air dried my hair to like 50% dry while I was working on a few things and now I'm going to get myself ready pretty much for the night because I'm going to film some podcast clip videos to promote the episode that's going live tomorrow which you guys have already listened to hopefully definitely check it out found objects podcast is my new podcast I'm just wearing this comfy striped sweater striped cardi from revolve it's from helsa i think it's my first ever piece from the helsa line elsa hosks brand for revolve but it's very comfy i like how big the sleeves are I'm probably gonna wear this with jeans at some point in london i'm gonna blow dry my hair out and then i'll circle back because it's gonna be loud while i wait for my round brush my heated round brush to heat up i'm gonna do some makeup um not sure what I'm gonna go for. I might do a liner, liquid liner moment, but I might just also do a pencil liner moment. It's gonna be a game time decision, but I think I'm gonna do a red lip tonight for when I get changed into my actual evening outfit for this event. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Jack's gonna meet up after work. We're gonna grab some dinner quickly at Serafina. They have this new pizza that they just launched, which is savory and sweet, which is interesting. It's like, um, a champagne themed pizza, which I'm very intrigued about. So we're definitely gonna get that. I absolutely swear by this concealer. It's the best concealer I've ever tried from Natasha Denona. I'm kind of in between two shades right now because I have a bit of self tanner, like or really none left, but actually, yeah, I don't really have any left on my face. So I'm kind of in between because sometimes when I have the self tanner, I'll like go for my slightly darker shade and then I have a slightly lighter shade for my everyday face, which evidently is this. I'm getting Botox tomorrow. So I wanted to make sure that my face tanner would wear off by then. And I almost put some on last night and I'm glad that I didn't because I actually use two different kinds of self tanner. I use um, Tan Lux or Isle of Paradise, just honestly, depending on my mood, I have both. But anyway, so I didn't do that last night because I was worried about the Botox I'm getting tomorrow because I'm pretty sure you can't do self-tanner before you get injections. Or maybe it's after you get injections. I don't know. So I just, to be safe, didn't do it. But tomorrow I am getting um, forehead Botox, which I had once, like eight months, nine months ago, and it's completely gone. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get very much, mainly just right here. And yeah, Botox is a very personal thing. Like obviously not everyone is keen on the idea and that is totally fine, you know? But I just decided I want it. I feel like this color is a little bit off, but I'm just going to aggressively blend it with the rest of my face. <laughs> I know it looks a little yellow on camera, but I promise it will regulate in a moment. I use the Almay, Almay Smart Shade Foundation. This foundation is actually magic. Look at what it does. So at first it comes out white. That's actually a ton. I don't need all of that, but for the science experiment, so it comes out white like that, but for the sake of the experiment, it comes out white. And then as you blend it, you see how it's like starting to match to my skin tone look <laughs> like it completely somehow f like matches finds out and matches your skin like yeah I can't express enough how crazy this is um so yeah I just put that on top of the concealer 
I'm gonna do a little bit of blush. This is Makeup by Mario. Mellow Mauve blush. Love the blush, but the packaging definitely gets super dirty because it's white. I'm wearing black tonight. I'm wearing a black little mini dress with tights and little pointy heels. I think I was gonna wear a silver dress. Like I had this like really fancy, someone just got home, fancy dress that I was gonna wear. But then one of the lovely people throwing the event sent me the dress code like a couple hours ago and said it was, or it is, festive, smart, casual. Which is an interesting coupling of words. I don't really know. <laughs> Uh, or grouping of words rather because it's three words, but I, I don't really know what that means So I'm just gonna do my best um, With what I've got and I feel like you can't go wrong with just a simple black dress I mean, I'm going to actually I'm going to the opera on Friday. I'm going to the opera to see the newest rendition of Romeo and Juliet on Friday, so I have a couple of ideas for that outfit. I don't wanna to go too over the top. I know I totally could, but I have a birthday party after that I have to go to straight away. Like I have to go to the opera and then right to the birthday after. And I don't wanna be one of those girls that's like so show offy, like look where I just came from, you know? So I'm trying to wear something that isn't too crazy. Like nothing too poofy. Something that I feel like comfortable and, and confident in. That says opera, but not like too much, you know, so I'm gonna try to figure that out. But yeah, so okay, just gonna do my usual like random eyeshadow <laughs> situation. <laughs> I just do like random sparkly brownish shades on my lid. I don't really have much of a rhyme or reason when it comes to this. I'll probably do like a quick touch up on all this before I leave the house tonight because I don't actually leave for a couple of hours. Eyebrows are filled in just a tad and then I'm gonna use this nubby little Charlotte Tilbury um, brown liner that yeah, it's in classic brown and it's their Powder pencil I think like the words are actually gone so I can't really even tell you what it's called but I Love their brown liners now. I'm gonna use my favorite concealer. Nope, not concealer I'm gonna use my favorite mascara the Panorama from L'Oreal Voluminous. I have to mention I used to work at L'Oreal because every time I ever use a L'Oreal product, I simply must mention that I worked there <laughs> in their corporate office here in New York City. That's what brought me here and now I'm using their mascara still because L'Oreal just knows good mascara. Like I honestly have not tried a mascara that's better than L'Oreal. I really haven't. Like, I don't think you need to spend the big bucks on mascara. I do just do not agree with that. And I do the bottom ones pretty delicately. I'm just going to flip out my hair for the time being. I might end up curling it later. You guys know I have my Bondi Boost, Bondi Boost round hot brush, hot round brush. I don't have a Bondi Sands hot round brush, even though I said that in the last vlog because I got the companies mixed up because they are very similar, similar um, names, Bondi Sands and Bondi Boost. So I guess that's a reasonable thing to mess up, but going willy nilly with it, flipping in all directions. Okay guys, so a little bit of oomph has been added to my hair and I'm just putting my lip gloss on. I am obsessed with this lip gloss. It's from Lawless is the brand and it's called Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss. And I just love how this feels. It doesn't hurt my, my lips, but it looks really nice on. It's very glossy, obviously. Um, it is a gloss. I like how it's kind of brownish, like it's not super pink. I like it. It's in the shade, what shade is it? Maple Sugar. And I like it. So I'm all ready. I'm gonna start filming stuff now. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna wear this dress tonight from Reformation. For some reason, I'm not loving the color of these tights. I feel like something about it or them isn't right. I feel like they need to be not so sheer. And I'm deciding not to dwell too much on that because I actually don't have another pair. Currently, these are the only ones I have. I've ripped all the other ones that I've gotten, so I do love the pointed heel 
little block heel I have going on for the shoes though, so that's cute. And then the dress is, it's like a bubble skirt situation, a bubble, bubble dress. I've worn this before, I've worn this to another event. Um, and I just loved how it felt on, it's so comfortable. So I'm gonna do it again tonight. I have a long felt coat that I think could go well with this. I just filmed a little iPhone video of me in this dress just in case I need it for content or anything. So did that, I'm gonna change back into my comfy clothes and film those clips for the podcast now. Um, I'm kind of all over the place, but I'm just trying to do what I can with this lighting because it's gonna get dark in here and like, 30 minutes, so I'm trying to hustle and film everything I need to before the sun goes down. That's kind of what I'm up to right now. So, anyway, I do love this dress though. It's very flirty, very fun. It kind of reminds me of the dress I wore dancing last weekend, also Reformation. Everything with this like tight waist and then like flared out skirt, I feel like flatters my, my figure, my pear-shaped figure very nicely, so. Big fan, huge fan. So finished look for the event tonight. I'm wearing a little trench over top of the dress that you guys just saw earlier. Um, the trench coat is from Everlane and it's this really pretty green color that I'm really digging for this like transitional time of year. Cause right now it's actually 60 degrees outside, which is weird, very weird. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just put a trench coat on cause I don't really know what other coat is appropriate for this weather. So I just have this on for now. I'll probably check it when I get there. And then I swap my earrings for these Brinker and Eliza hearts. I wore these on Valentine's Day. Here's what it looks like in full. Cute little outfit. Have my black Bottega, of course. And yeah, the trench is a little wrinkly, but I feel like trench coats are always a bit wrinkly. Oh, looks like my Uber is gonna be here in two minutes. So I'm gonna run. This is the outfit. I'll film some clips of the event and of dinner and a jack, because I know you guys like St. Jack, so I will film some clips in a bit. I'm excited for the event. Do we want it higher? Or will you be um, in it? I guess maybe if I could prop it on top of something you're not using, yeah. Yeah, so that's it's better, a wide right? angle, so it's very, everything's in it. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. I like this camera, too. Thank you. you. So what do you normally do in your week, podcaster <laughs> or vlogcast? Oh, I do vlogs and podcasts, so everything's really, really free. <laughs> you know, I, I, I've been doing laser hair removal, so now I feel like I can do anything. So this is going to give you a little bit of a lift. Great. Well, thank you. Hi, guys. So I just left my Botox office, or I guess I can't call it my Botox office because I don't own it, and this is my first time going there. But I really love the experience. I got a different kind of Botox this time, which apparently will show up sooner than other forms. I was learning a lot, but of course, I didn't retain a lot but I got forehead Botox and a little bit next to my eyes, not crow's feet specifically, but just something to raise my brows a bit. Yeah, it was actually very comfortable. I don't feel like it was that painful. And the doctor was so kind, so knowledgeable, really enjoyed her presence. I'll definitely be going back. But yeah, right now I'm gonna head back downtown. I'm up on 
like 72nd, East 72nd. So I'm gonna head back down to the West Village and do some work and such. Carry on with my day. Lots of things, lots of things.